So I get this question a lot. Is my industry good for social media? Or maybe what industries are good for social media and which ones aren't? There's no cut and dry answer to this. It really could be good for your business or not your business. It doesn't really matter what industry it is. But I have noticed that social media works really well in a few key industries. Are you in beauty, cosmetics, any kind of e-commerce that's like fashion or maybe food related? I think you can already understand why this might be good on social media. They tend to be the best performing industries that we've had the pleasure of working with. But that doesn't mean that other industries don't get results. It just means that these ones take off. They get viral. Their accounts grow without really having to try anything at all. Their posts get shares which not all industries should expect shares on their posts on a regular basis. When you're doing a beauty cosmetic product, women love that, and you can expect it to go viral. Industries like that naturally have products that take off on social media. It's a good indicator that in those industries, you should probably be investing in social media a little bit earlier than in other businesses, and you should be looking for indicators as to how to use what people want to say about you on social media to amplify your message. So while social media is mandatory for any healthy, working, established business, you probably should invest less into social media if you are in, let's just say, the professional services space, where most of your business is going to come through an immediate need and probably therefore AdWords. Or if it's a pass-through business, social media is going to be less for you than other businesses. Pass-through businesses really just mean you are taking a lead, you're serving them a product, and they're never going to come back to you again. If somebody's not going to come back to you again, they're not going to be very valuable to building a long-lasting relationship with them. And that's really the essence of social media, is being able to build long-lasting relationships. So obviously, pass-through brands are not going to be as successful. While any company can be successful in social media, you should be concerned in drier industries. Also, if you can't create stellar content. If you can be a thought leader, if you can get something that educates or entertains your market out there, then social media is a great place for you. If no one in your organization can fulfill that need, then don't post your shitty sales messages on social media. Don't try to be something that you're not. Just acknowledge that you don't have the content, not a lot of your audience is aggregating around that need for your product or service there, and you don't need to invest heavily into it. Yes, you still need to be present, because if somebody comes to social media, like a customer or client, and they have a problem, you need to answer it. It's just expected these days. But you don't have to invest $10,000 into a massive growth strategy or into posting social content that probably will have a hard time seeing an ROI from it. That being said, the larger your marketing budget, the more you can diversify into social media to establish lasting branded relationships. But still, it just becomes a portion of your marketing budget. Don't don't invest too early. See people trying to invest too early where the company isn't stable. They don't have the revenue. They don't have the budget. Wait until you see traction and then consider jumping in. That is it for me. If you'd like more information on how to work with marketing agencies or social media in general, you can check out my blog. It's bullpineinteractive.agency forward slash blog. I will see you next time.